Hello and welcome back to Tari's Lifestyle and Vlog. Thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to apply for indefinite leave to remain in the UK, which is the same thing as your permanent residence in the UK. But before I go on, if this is your first time of coming to my channel and you like videos like this, then please subscribe, turn on your bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos going forward. So I'm doing a series of video on the UK, different UK visa routes and in the last couple of weeks I've dealt on a UK spouse visa, the requirements, what you need to know and all of that. But today we're going a bit further, we're going to be talking about how to get your, how to apply for your indefinite leave to remain. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll put the link up so you can have a look and then I'll just go through my channel, you'll be able to see those videos for yourself. Okay, but like I said, today we're going a bit further, we're going to be talking about how to apply for your indefinite leave to remain which is your permanent residence and the benefits of having a permanent residence in the UK is the fact that you are no longer restricted by immigration you will be free to apply for jobs to work to study and to live freely in the UK having an indefinite leave to remain or a permanent residence means that you're one step closer to having your British citizenship which is a good thing and you're not restricted by immigration. Having said that, how do you apply for an indefinite leave to remain? Okay, so in order for you to apply for an indefinite leave to remain, which is your permanent residence, there are certain criteria that you meet, you need to meet. And your application would also depend on what kind of visa you are on. So first of all, you need to be legally resident in the UK. You have to have a leave to remain in the UK before you can apply for an indefinite leave to remain. You also must be able to prove your life in the UK and also English language test. Okay, so you need to, there's a test that you need to do that will prove that, okay, you've lived in the UK and you know a little bit about the UK and the life in the UK. And also you need to prove that, yes, you can actually speak English and there are different tests that you can do to prove that. Okay, so those two are really important if you want to apply for a UK indefinite leave to remain. Like I said, there are different ways that you can apply for an indefinite leave to remain depending on what visa category you are on. First of all, if you are on a work visa, so you're on a skilled worker visa or any kind of work visa at all, and you've lived in the UK for a certain number of years, then you can apply for a work visa. I'm going to go into, into it later on to talk about the requirements for a work visa, but I'm just going to mention it here before I go and go into it. Okay, so if you have a work visa and you've lived for the required number of years, you can apply for an indefinite leave to remain. If you have a family that is settled in the UK, someone that has a settled status or a permanent residence, in the UK you can also apply for an indefinite leave to remain if you've lived in the UK for up to 10 years that's another route through which you can apply for a UK indefinite leave to remain if you are a Commonwealth citizen you can also apply for the UK indefinite leave to remain from that way also if you have a refugee or humanitarian status protection then you can also apply for a UK indefinite leave to remain you can also apply for an indefinite leave to remain if you have served in the armed forces or if also you've been in the UK before you've had an indefinite leave to remain and you've moved out of the UK for a period of time and you're coming back you can apply for an indefinite leave to remain again okay so that's really important so these are just a few routes through which you can apply for the indefinite leave to remain the permanent residence in the UK like I said I'm going to go into details talking about each of them as we go on but I thought I'll bring this to you first of all just like an introduction as always okay but thank you so much for watching and like I always say I hope this video has been helpful if it has give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so okay and, and just a disclaimer as well this video is not professional advice if you want professional advice about your UK visa or any visa for that matter then please seek a solicitor or speak to someone as a professional who will be able to help you okay but thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video